Football stadiums are built in different shapes and sizes, from modern designs to old rusty grounds with so much character. But today, I'm going to be going one step further and exploring Europe's worst football stadium. According to reports from many articles, the worst ground is located in Italy. The Carlo Castellani Stadium, the home of Empoli FC, a town close to Florence, with a population of 48,000, has a football club which plays in Serie A. In Italy, this is known to be one of the worst football stadiums. But I will admit that grounds in Italy all seem old and very run down, running tracks all over the place and not the greatest aesthetically. It's a Lazio way to end the season and what better place to do it at the worst football stadium in Europe. It is too early for this but we are back for another round, another adventure at Lazio away day. I'll tell you one thing, this guy just keeps following me. Obviously. Right. He's not even on the same flight as me but we're here together today. Um, have a go. Denmark. He sleeps and breathes football, goes everywhere. Denmark, midget land today. <laughs> midget it's land. It's midget land. I am, this will be a different experience. Then welcome to sunny Pisa, Italia. Here for the big game tonight. 4,000 Lazio fans in attendance, and I'll tell you what, for a 9 pm kickoff, three or four hours away from Rome, it's not a bad effort. Most airports in Italy have a shuttle, it literally takes you straight from the airport to the centre, and I think we need this in England. I've been in Pisa for one hour and I've already got a problem. My flight tomorrow morning from Pisa is cancelled. I've got no options. This is all I've got, by the way. I've got no bags, nothing. Nevertheless, the Lazio fan base are so nice. They're so good. They look after you so well. But I thankfully got a Lazio fan who's dropping me off back at Rome Ciampino. Three and a half hour drive after the game, by the way. It's no joke, so thank you so much. Hopefully Lazio win now and top it all off. And the beautiful weather as well. You can never complain. The Arno River, it reaches 150 miles and it travels all the way to Florence. It's a really nice place this and I'm glad I'm back here once again to visit it before watching the game tonight. I don't really know where I've ended up but I am not complaining. I thought I walked around Pisa last time but look where I am now in this square. Seriously, I have no idea where I've just ended up, but this looks quite cool. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, second time here and I still wonder how it's leaning. Like, I don't want to sound dumb but how's it not falling over? Like, I'm not trying to sound dumb, but do you know what I mean? Even the grass looks nice. This whole area is just so good to soak in and see though. Everyone cares about the Leaning Tower of Pisa. But I care more about these football floodlights. Pisa is complete. It's time to go to Empoli and check out the worst football stadium in Europe. Let's head on this train and find out for ourselves. And just like that, we have arrived in Empoli, the town in Italy. Now I've got to find the stadium. But who would have thought that I would have gone to Empoli? But I'm here, I'm here. I've got to support the Lazio boys. My mission is genuinely to tick off every single Italian stadium. By the end of next season, I want to tick off every single... I'm going to be honest. There is absolutely nothing around it. You walk past one street, you walk around the corner, and that is it. It's such a small town. But nevertheless, about the football tonight, two and a half hours till kickoff. We're around Lazio fans in this square, around the streets, etc. It's full of Lazio and they're taking over. It's about time we enter the stadium or at least head to it. Look at this stadium, it's so run down. You can literally see how empty it is. You have to cross a bridge to get over to the other side, and it just looks so empty. It is no closure to the stadium at all. Imagine Gillingham in England with that one big stand and then seeing multiple separate stands like this. It's just, what's going on? We are literally have been having to cross a bridge. This is actually up there as one of the worst stadiums I've ever been to. So this is the away end. You got one, you got two, you got three and four behind it and they're all separated. This could be one of the worst away ends I ever go in in my life. This is also where the away fans meet. A little segregation before going through with tickets and into the away end. Here is the Empoli team coach. They are on fire the last few games. They've been winning, drawing, and at home especially, it's become a little bit of a fortress towards the end of the season. And that is the last team coach entering for the final time this season. The time eventually came around to enter this interesting stadium. Here we are then, we are through in the away end. Look at this, separated by one, separated by two. Over that, another one, over that, another one. This is literally the worst away end I will ever go in. Look at this. I think this time it really justifies the title this time. Oh my. You are Let's do it, let's do it. How can anyone not look at this and not agree with me and say this is the worst stadium? You got poles literally blocking it. This is full of rubble and everything. What's going on here? He's doing a high jump or something. I've also never seen a uh, an ultra section on the side of a pitch as well. No fans over here, no fans over there. More Lazio fans over there. Oh, 
no way, look at this. Look at that. That means the penalty was good. That was referring to the handballs. He didn't get a penalty, obviously. These fans love the English referee. 4,000 Lazio fans. It's going to be one big celebration today. Not only is it Champions League football confirmed, Roma did win a cup, obviously. We beat Roma in the derby twice a season. What a season it's been. This could also be Malik Vizsavic's last game for Lazio. What a career he's had for Lazio. And I tell you, if this is the last game, what a serve for the club. It may be the last game of the season. Champions League is confirmed. But if you want a better group, in the Champions League, pot three, please be the case, not pot four, and if that's the this today, of course, they can have in the table, at least for a second, and win the game. Play has been let off as the players enter the field. Here it is then, Empoli Lazio. The last game of the season. Look at all the smoke up here. A few players onto the Olympic track. Empoli banner here. This is going to be some atmosphere. Some atmosphere. I still can't get over the stadium. Like it's just so randomly placed. There's two mini stands over here. There's one over here. It's so randomly designed, man. I, I think we can all agree with me. Like this is one of the worst stadiums in Europe. Comment down below out of ten what you rate the stadium. Here we go. Then second half's about to start. At least it's down this end, and we can actually see a little bit more of the action. If they can attack more, that'd be great. Corner ball. Go on. Yeah.
Cards that makes the red over here. Empire does 10 men, second year on the fence, on the counter attack. Honestly, no one celebrates red cards around here. Five minutes to go, it's in that slow hands now. Oh, 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 Coming off in the last seconds. That could be the last time he puts on the shirt for Lazio. That could be it for the Nicholas Savage. Who knows? He's waving. He's waving goodbye. Standing ovation from everyone on the bench, which means one thing. Unfortunately, it looks like he's going. Lazio, 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 Lazio. Full time. Lazio finish second in the league. What a season that's been and we've ended it at the worst stadium in Europe. How do you guys rate this stadium and thank you to Luca for saving the day and driving me back to the airport in Rome. Forza Lazio Siempre.